if you don't follow us on Snapchat, both Robin and I are currently doing like a cleanse. It means we haven't eaten for 48 hours, we're hungry, we're hangry, we're drinking like this bentonite clay crap that's supposed to flush you out. Anyway, we're grumpy, we've got the low energy, but the guys at the workshop have fitted the body kit to the Lambo. It's ready to go, it's ready to pick up. So I'm excited. Are you hungry? I'm so hungry. We are so ridiculously hungry. Uber's here. Hey, how you doing? Oh, it's good. Just go around the corner here. We'll, we'll yep. jump out and walk around. See you, mate. Have a good day. So the excitement, for, the excitement picking this up now with the body kit is kind of like 50% of the excitement of picking the car up on the when I got it from the showroom. I really think that the body, this particular kit makes it look like a completely different car. The, the stock Huracan, I'm not a massive fan of the look of it. At certain angles you look at it, it just looks a bit not right. With this kit it looks just that little bit better. What, are you going to walk when we go to your car? <laughs> oh. Is the, got some bands. Is, the front, is the front lift kit up at the moment? Uh, I don't know yeah. man, I, I raised it at one stage and I tried to put it down, I don't know whether it's down or not down. Yeah, I think it is a little bit up. <laughs> That's all good. Yeah, it sits a lot lower with the front kit down. Yeah. Holy moly, look at that. Yeah, she looks aggressive with the front lip on. Yeah, it does, eh? Yeah, like that's a... Yeah, that looks good, eh? That is ridiculous. Look at it. From this angle, it looks so good. The wing sort of adds a little length at the back, so it looks like less of a chode. You're ready to take Lucy home. Oh, I love when you step into it now, babe. You've got like this lip that you can see quite visibly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, we got her. We got her back. I know, she definitely needs a wash now, hey? Okay, we've just pulled up like at the park nearby our place. <laughs> we drove it here, but I don't know what it looks like from the outside. Oh, it's a bit <sighs> not present when I was picking it up, so I really want to just stop and take a look at the new kit and see what it looks like. how low it looks now like it was low before but just that little what is it, an inch not even two inches just makes that little extra difference it makes it look so much more aggressive hello are hello. you hungry yes what do you want to do now um, go for a drive babe you haven't even seen what how good the kit looks on the outside yet i have at the shop oh and i love this i love stepping in and you got this extra bit of carbon here it's really it makes a bit of oh Where's there a bin? There's one. Day four of the cleanse. Day four of the cleanse. So excited to be finishing up today. Oh my God, I don't know if I can do another day. Not eating it drives you crazy. One of the, so basically it starts with a, a liter of water when we wake up. Then we get this ridiculous clay. It's got the cinnamon, it's got the ginger in it. It's supposed to clean you out. And then after you do the clay, you drink it and it's all gritty. I'll show you what that looks like. Then an hour after the clay, you drink the, it's got like, what the fuck's in this thing? It's got psyllium husk, dried apple, flax seeds. It just <laughs> goes through it and just clean you out. Also, I started drinking it on orange apple juice because on water, uh, I was just gagging, couldn't, couldn't get it down. I drink it on apple juice now. It's, it's all good apple juice. There's no shit, there's no tomfoolery in it. But 
I tell you what, one benefit of doing a cleanse like this, or doing fasts, I've done a couple of fasts in the past, I've probably done four or five or six fasts actually, extended fast, four or seven days or so. One benefit of doing a fast or doing a cleanse is that you come back with a whole entire new appreciation of food. Like, going out to a restaurant in the morning or a cafe and getting a big breakfast with Robin. <sighs> That's just all I want to do. When we do it, when you do it, often you take it for granted. You're just like, oh yeah, I'm just going out for breakfast. But after this, you get present with the food, you love the food, you love the act of eating, and you eat slowly and you eat more carefully and every single mouthful tastes much better. At least for the first week or two after a cleanse. Uh, yes, I do. Do you? I don't know. Robin and I are wondering if we should break the fast tonight. I think yes. But, you know, for the sake of a night, we could probably go another night. Mm -hmm. If you want to just do brekkie in the morning. Yeah, but brekkie's only going to be smoothies, you know that, right? Mm. Let's do soup. <laughs> Let's do soup. Um, I'm going now down, I've got my backpack on my back. I'm going down to the park. I just got Lucy washed. We're gonna go down and do some film. Some film for the start of this video, which is <laughs> actually being shot after the rest of the stuff. Okay, uh, I'll be home in a bit, babe. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. First food in four days. Oh my god. It's so good, babe. I just want to give a shout out to Ross from rollingstock.com.au for ordering and preparing and getting the install all planned for the for the body kit. You got it shipped over from America in bloody record time and found the, the body shop to get it done in Brisbane, and even though he's in Sydney. It all worked out really good and Ross is a boss. Uh, also, Cameron's Body Works, the guys in Cooper's Plains who did the install, they were really awesome too, they did a bloody good job. Um, other than that, I think that wraps it up. I'm really happy with the body kit. I think it looks awesome. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments. Mm-hmm.